Als je bien, sir. Als je bien. Six yards of stuff for to make a yellow gown. A pair of laced boots with lengthy heels in them and brassy eyes. A hat is suited for a wedding day. You wait here, sir. I'll check it out. To be returned to Seamus Mulroy Wine and Spirit Dealer Cashel Bar. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Here's a knocking indeed. If I was porter at Hell's Gate, I'd surely have all turning of the key. Who is it? Hello. What ails you, or what is it you're wanting at this hour of the night? I'm after meeting Sean Kyo and Father Riley below, who told me of your curiosity, man. And they feared him by this time he was maybe roving or bumping on your hands with drink. Look, now is he roaring, and he destroyed travelling since Tuesday was a week. You're a queer kind to walk in, not saluting at all. Oh, begging your pardon, man. Hit you, young man? A robber, maybe? Twas a merciless MacDonald, and he the devil a robber, but a dirty, stuttering lout. What kind was he? A small, low fellow. And dark? Dark and dirty. I'm thinking I seen him. An ugly braggart! A ah, hideous, fearful villain, and the spit of you. Which way has he fled? Across the sands below. Let you give him good vengeance. But don't put yourself in the power of the law, for it would be a poor thing to see a judge in his black cap reading out his sentence on a civil warrior the like of you. I think I'll leave him to the dark night. They'll let me strangle him without my bidding. For I am faint, and my gashes cry for help. So well thy words become thee, as thy wounds, thy schmack of honour bought, Go get him, surgeons. You would have a right to come on with me till you see my little housing, a perch off on the rising hill. And I will wash your wounds so when you wake you won't have worries why you went to war with kings. And you'll be well again when Wednesday was a week. Wait till morning, warring soldier. Wait till you lay eyes on her leaky thatches growing more pasture for her buck goat than her square of fields, and she without a tramp itself to keep in order her place at all. Two fine women fighting for the likes of me! Till I'm thinking this night, wasn't I the foolish fellow not to kill MacDonald in the years gone by?
stay a while here. Come in, Charlene. Come in. What ails you now? I just looked in to tell you that there's another queer dying fellow looking in over your wall. This is a man, you see. God help me. He'll be following me now. And I going home, lonesome in the darkness of the night. <laughs> God save you, young fellow. Come in. Might I uh, trouble you for a glass of scotch, ma'am? Let you come up to the fire, young fellow. You're looking famished with the cold. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Could you tell me, do the authorities ever come round here asking questions, that sort of thing? Is it yourself that's fearing them? You're wanting, maybe? Lots of people are wanted. Is it for the likes of Larsen you're wanted? Certainly not. I'll have you know I'm the son of a king. May he rest in peace. Is it killed your father? No, I didn't kill my father. That had nothing to you do with me. You didn't kill your father. I assure you, I knew nothing about that. The last put by we had here, he killed his father twice. In Kerry and in Mayo, split with the lie both times. How dreadful. Are you quite sure it wasn't you that killed your father? I assure you, I, I, I had nothing to do with it. Arre, he's done nothing so. Um, maybe he's done a bad, nasty thing. Was it for the like of that you done? Well, not, not, not nasty. Well, if you didn't commit murder or a bad, nasty thing, then what was the name of your deed? Well, it was nothing at all, really. Just a, a little anachronism or two. An anachronism? What class of a crime would that be? Well, I suppose one might call it a, a literary crime. Oh, glory be to God! Well, there is a Dearden fellow. Was it in Kelly you did it, or in Mayo? Uh, near Fours, actually. Oh, oh, and again at Inverness. A literary crime. That's a hanging crime, surely. You must have good reason for doing the like of that. Well, I most certainly had. I mean, there I was, a mere supernumerary. Ten lines was all I had. Can you imagine a king's son with only ten lines? And such lines, thoroughly unpleasant. Doesn't he tell it lovely? And then in the very first act, Act 1, Scene 3, I had to flee to Ireland. So, so here I am. And was it with the law you did the deed? Or with the long-hilted knife, maybe? Well, do you take me for a slaughter, boy? I did it with a firing squad. A firing squad? That would be the lad with the sense of Solomon to have for a pot boy. Aye. Would you think well and stop here and be pot boy, mister, if we gave you good wages and didn't destroy you with the way of war? You'd have a right to stop, for we do our all and utmost to content your needs. And would I be safe here from, from the critics? You would, surely. That'd be a queer kind to bring into a decent Irish play. Will you wish? Who's speaking to you? Let you stop a while anyhow, young fellow. You should be destroyed walking. Thank you. I'll, I'll be glad to stay. It's a queer story you'd go. Picking up a dirty tramp from the highways of the world. Wish I'm saying. We'll take no falling from you. Quit my sight! <laughs> Well, I beg your pardon, mister. What name do we call you? For we'd like to know. Donald Bain, Prince of Scotland. Aye, that's the lad, surely. Well, God bless Donald Bain. Till we meet again, when the sun will be rising to the noon of day. Let you stretch out by the fire, young fellow. You should be destroyed travelling. Do you mind if I take my boots off? My, my feet are wet. There's your bed now. Bed? A real bed? You have a 
power of rings, God bless you. And would there be any offence in asking, are you married itself? Married? Gosh, I never... No, I, I don't suppose I am. We're alike, so. So tomorrow we might walk out together and you could show me the neighbourhood. That'll be right fun, Donald Bain. For any girl would walk her heart out before she'd meet a young man was your like for eloquence or talk at all. What an extraordinarily sweet person you are. And to think it's me that's talking sweetly, Donald Bain. And I the fright of seven town lands for my biting tongue. Well, the heart's a wonder. And I'm thinking there won't be our like in Mayo for gallant lovers from this hour today. gone and the sergeant is here the sergeant where there now sir time to go home i think <laughs> It won't take long to catch a dream is like a song you've got to work to make it rhyme believe me it takes time if you do the things you want to do and you try As well you might It's like you're on A fantastic flight It's up to you You've got to say You can do it Any day If you do The things you want to do And you try Dream.